So my name is Ajay Goku. I'm from a small town called Pollachi in the south of India. So Pollachi is like a small idyllic town, a very rural area. I think the closest town is probably like 30 miles. It's the town where I was born. It's a very special place. I think in some ways I had an international upbringing. So I grew up in Doha for almost a decade. I lived outside India as long as I lived in India. We didn't have television, in my household at least, so I used to scourge the newspaper. I was the eldest sibling, so we didn't have too many books. The newspapers were my biggest source of reading, for pleasure, and later for knowledge. And there was one section which I remember that I particularly liked, which was World News. It was a small section in the newspaper, but I absolutely loved scourging that section. So when I decided to study international affairs, I knew I had to go out of India. And I don't think there's any other city that is truly the hub of international affairs and diplomacy like DC. I still evidently remember the day that I got the email that I was a Donald F. McHenry Fellow. Uh, honestly, it's one of those days that you are probably going to remember for the rest of your life. I wake up my mother to tell her she was in tears. I knew this was a life-changing opportunity. But the biggest struggle I had was making sure that my living expenses are covered. I didn't want to pressure my parents because I have a younger brother. And that is when I came to Empower, so they didn't ask for any collaterals. They were happy as long as I was able to submit this documentation from my university and my intent to apply for visa. I did not have to speak with anyone on the phone or meet with anyone. It was all online, so quite hassle-free, I would say. I think if not for the Empower loan to cover my initial expenses, I probably would have turned down a full scholarship to Georgetown University because I had a younger brother to take care of. I didn't want to put undue financial pressure on my mother. So in many ways, this was life changing. I think I felt relief, happiness, and definitely a sense of gratitude. And I'm grateful that a simple Google search led me to empower. I've already said to a lot of my mentees that Empower is a great platform to go to. When they say that you are determined to do something, the universe will conspire. Just keep dreaming and if you put your mind to it, I think nothing can stop you.